Yo, hi guys, and welcome back to Pentai Games. My name is Senpai San, and today we're going to be continuing with the Cat Lady. Now, in the last episode, we found out some fucking really bad shit. So, we're going to get a glasses. A glasses? We're going to get glasses for the wine. Because we're going to get drunk. Drunk. You know, because the Irish get drunk all the time, supposedly. I'm not like that. I actually haven't drank in ages. It's taboo. Okay, so I got the corkscrew. Let's open the bottle of wine. And now we need wine glasses. Wine glasses should maybe be in the cabinet. Take wine glasses. I'm so smart. One for me and one for Mitzi. Yeah, yeah. Music's actually really nice. I like it. Mitzi! Get drunk. Have you found that corkscrew yet? Yes. We we'll also need some wine glasses. Okay. Got the corkscrew. Use. Give. I found some wine glasses. Great. Now all we need is Yes, I know. I've got it all. I've got it all. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. There you go. Let's get that bottle open. Woo! All right. That's all we need. Oh, and Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Yeah? I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. Oh, thanks. Very funny, Mitzi. Oh, no, I mean it. That's fine. <laughs> Just so you know. I always sleep with my eyes open. Oh, that's actually creepy. Oh. So, the big C. Want to talk about it? Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh, well, I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. Yeah, I don't mind rain. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. <gasps> I love that fog. I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once. When I was just nine or ten. Yeah, I got lost in fog once before too. I remember I sat under a tree. Cause swore I was in Silent Hill when that happened. Would appear right <laughs> in front of me and drag me away. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. Yeah. Now that's coming from you, Susan. How do you know? I've never seen one, nor has anyone else. Lies, we have. The only monsters are us, murderers, rapists, arsonists. Maybe you're right. I will believe in them when I see one. Maybe you're right. I will believe in them when I see one. You have! If fog approaching fast, you might be in luck, Miss Ashworth. Yeah. I am so glad I'm not spending another night outside. I might be a big girl now, but... There will always be a part of me that is frightened, I guess. Did you know they actually have a name for it? It's fear. called homiclophobia. Fear of fog. We are living in crazy times, Mitzi. How are you planning, are to, you find planning to find this guy? I was talking first. I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. Mm. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. Mm. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. Seven. I was hoping that you could give me a hand, actually. You know some of your Wonder neighbors, you know don't you? From not many. Seven. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You probably also <laughs> figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? I think he's a train driver. I can't imagine somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. He leaves us with just six. Hmm. Anyone else you know? I'd have to think. You know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? Okay. I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building, and with your help, mark down who lives where. Okay. 
Sounds good to me, Mitzi. This video is probably going to be a little bit longer because in the last video we didn't really do much. So in this one we're going to get a little bit more done. So the big C. Want to talk about it? I kicked so the wrong button. the big C. Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. Yeah, I understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do before my time is up. It's fine. You seem all right. It's just... I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Hopefully... Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. Oh yeah, and I ordered a new mask map. What map. kind of cancer is it? I Do you mind me asking? Hasn't arrived yet. But I don't know. Her name is Cleoblastoma. Huh. Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphona, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I well, used to be bitches. a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends while I disappear down the back exit. How long? They said I had a year. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. Hmm. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Do you want to talk about something else? You mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something you about him. You mentioned a boyfriend. Tell Let's me something about him. Completely. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. His name is Jack. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, shit. Miss Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. Yeah, I guess so. She tried to kill herself, don't forget. Anyway, I suppose Indeed. I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. I just... don't know where to start. Uh... How, tell me how you two met. How did he take the news about your cancer? Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? How did he die? Uh, tell me how you two tell met. Tell me how you two met. Oh, we knew each other for like forever. We grew up on the same street. That was cute. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me, and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. I never had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. But all luck runs out sometimes. Um, how did he die? How did he die? How did he die? I'll get to that, Miss Ashworth. Let me just tell you more about him first, so you could understand what happened. Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. So I'm not really talking, guys. People say it's depressing really to listen talking. to sad songs or watch sad films. But I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog. Oh, that's different. I might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. They're beautiful. I love spiders. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. No, there's honestly, a there's a certain indescribable beauty in sadness. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious 
and notice what others can't see. The fog's rolling in. You must in. love my apartment then. It's like ugly took a vacation here and never went home again. Since he doesn't notice that the fog is right behind How her, did it's he like, I'm not about your cancer. He thought I was joking at first. He laughed. Then he got really angry. I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. But it was awful. He smashed some stuff. His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? He was absolutely furious. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things, but I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. Yeah. I felt trapped in this strange place where nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was destroying him as well. It's not your fault. He changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about, even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Ow, get you back. How did he die? How did Jack die? It was so distant in the last few weeks before... before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly. But it eventually found him. Or rather, he found him. Oh. There are those forums online, you know? About all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions. Everything, really. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. Oh, Jesus. There's a guy there. He calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. Hmm. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. Oh, his, his job is to plant an idea. To give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it. Once and for good. Where the fog's in? Jack took the bait. Before he knew, he was completely brainwashed. Shit. One himself. day, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course, but he just wouldn't give up. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I loved most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. But I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. I got right there in my bedroom. Before I even left. 
exactly who it was. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot. But to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day I've never gone there again. Oh, I'm playing it. Ooh, I'm playing as Mitzi. Minzy. Mitzi. Mitzi. Sorry, I think now I understand. There were signs at the car windows. How strong is that gas? I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much, he couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey. That's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. Troll. It's usually a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say, don't feed the troll. Don't talk to them. It, it only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I have Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. Troll what do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. We will find him, Mitzi. There were signs there on were the There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door. And that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind. To prepare for it. To embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. Sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. Uh -huh. It took me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close, I can almost smell that fucker. How strong, how strong is that gas? Extremely deadly, it turns out. It kills in minutes. It's that stinky stuff that smells like rotten eggs, you know? At high concentrations, it can knock down an elephant. Whoa. I made that at school! What are those two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No! No, Ms. Archworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I?
What if I promise to you I will never do it again? I've learned my lesson. Dying is not for me. Those who went, want to die will always find a way to do it. What if I promise? What if I promise to you I will never do it again? But if you don't keep your promise, Miss Ashworth, I'll find you in hell and kick your lying ass for breaking my already broken heart. <laughs> you can't kick my ass when I'm dead. I'll soon be dead too, Miss Ashworth. So, yeah, I swear I will do it. I don't think so. <laughs> You'll go to heaven, you muppet. Oh, Jesus, what was that? The recipe oh! for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Oh, yes! Any good housewife can make it in a blast. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. I'm alive. Okay. What is it? What is it, Mitzi? Why won't you tell me? Dead kitties. I really don't want to be here. Ah. Cat grabber. Take it. All oh, her kitties. Examine. Strange noise is coming from the other side of the door. Well, we're not going in there, are we? We are going to climb these stairs. Stairs. I didn't click. What's in here? Oh, Jesus. I see as the fog, I could never find my way home. Oh, like everything in this house there. Cobwebs and um, dust all over it. Oh god, I'm gonna get caught. Oh my god, I don't like these noises! Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't wanna switch it on. Nothing happens. leaving. Goodbye. Okay, I don't think I, I can't go up those stairs. No oh, noises need to stop. Okay. Okay, I can't do that. Okay, stop. Kitchen. Enter. Salmon. I like to drink. Great. Stop with the doors! Take a knife. Take it! Take it! Door stuck. You want to know what's inside. You probably don't, dear. Oh shit, I'm gonna need to hide at some point! Shit. Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. Okay, she's taking the bleach. This reminds me of something. <laughs> you think? Why, what? The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Yeah, the one, the kind that I just Not got. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. Ah, bright light. Jesus! What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going Oh, it's the master trying to steal my kitties! Go, Susan! Fine. I'll go on my own, then. Yes, do that. Let's go! Oh, the cat! I hate cat noises like that. I fucking hate them. What was that shadow? Was that Mitzi's shadow? I think it was. Ground floor. Kitties! I will save you! I'm just... The fuckers call the cat people. No care by the mail right now. Oh, 
What happened? That was weird. Well, guys, I am back because this game fucked up on me and I'm very upset about it because I had to go through all of that talking again and I couldn't skip past it. So I was very upset. So let's see what we can do. The noise is coming from outside. But I can't go outside. I can't go outside because it does that glitchy thing and it won't let me do anything. Is it really gonna make me do that? It really is, doesn't it? See, and then it does this and I can't do anything! see a thing. It's working now. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away and not a soul would notice. Okay. Okay. What can I do? I can't seem to do anything. But still... It could be worse. He scared me. At least it's not raining, eh? He just started talking out of nowhere to scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> I was like, Whoa! I really need to get my new seat in. This is like a fucking wooden seat. Can you... Always look on the right side, they say. Mm-hmm. And I always do. Okay, you're creepy. I'm gonna fucking leave. I know what you're gonna do to me. You asshole. It's very slow to talk. I think it's because of this fog that's fucking up everything. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? Don't call me sweetheart, you pervert! It's none of your business. Don't be such a scaredy cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? How the fuck did you know? A kind man had described to me what you look like. And what, what can I say? It was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. It sounds like he's looking at I his lips. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. It's like he's licking his lips every time he speaks. He's like, hello, sweetheart. You know, freaky. Freaky, I don't like. Me no like. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. That's not my name, dude. Get the fuck away from me. Leave me alone, please. I don't need you here to make me in a very bad mood. I really don't. Now, you ain't gonna like it, sweetheart. But I'm taking you for a ride. No, you. I. No, you're not. Go, no! No! Why am I saying it as if I haven't been here before? As if uh, none of this has happened. And I'm going to save it. Because that fucked up on me and I'm not doing that again. Part 7. End. There we go. Now we can finally continue with this! Enter. Oh, Jesus, fuck! Um, bathtub. Examine. Is this where they wash? This water looks pretty odd, very odd, like a mixture of dirt, melted fat, and petrol. The bone! Oh, it's skull. Ew! What is that in there? Ew! There's a key! I know what to do, 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 I know what to do. I know what to do. Get the cat claw, because I forgot to get it this time. I can think of somebody's behind me, because I can hear booty steps. Yeah, cat grabber. 
No, no, I don't need to examine it. I need to take it. And there's something in that door, and I'm not going in there. Nope. He's supposedly. I don't know why they're decomposing the bodies. Are they... I, why didn't they just eat them instead of the cats? I don't know. I need that cloth, though. Forgot I needed that. I need that for the light bulbs. And I also need to get this thing out of this body. Look closer. Use. Oh, really? You can't use it? Shit. Oh! Hello! Hi! Look what the cat dragged Hi! in! Hi! No! 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 Oh, I'm back here again! Okay. Should we see what's in here then? Sneak in? Oh, you're. I'm just gonna leave. Bye! <laughs> Not gonna fuck with you. So, hmm. Maybe I could use the knife in the kitchen? To open the fridge? I don't know. I have no idea. Stuck door. Maybe that's better. What's inside? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait. Why would you take the painting? I think I know what to do. Cloth, use. Okay. Okay, so I I don't know why there's footsteps when she's in the shed and he's sleeping. Okay, so I know what to do. Okay. Sam and the books look like they haven't been touched for a very long time. Left here by the previous owner. What's that? An old phone book. That would be useful, but I'm not sure whose number to look for. It's not like I have my fr any friends that I could call for help. Oh, wait. What was it? Check phone book. It's from year 10 years ago. Still, I don't know what to look for. Okay, then. Use. Oh no. No, no, no. Damn it. What? I can't remember my own number. Oh, you fucking I've got idiot. It written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. You're an idiot, Susan! Use. Call the police. emergency line how can i help you my name is susan ashworth i've been kidnapped these people are crazy 
They're going to eat me alive. I don't know what to do. Please, you've got to help me. Please. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? What? It's irrelevant. I've been kidnapped. I'm not there. I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX4422DL. Okay. Why do you need that? Now please, do something. For God's sake. Calm down, ma'am. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. No, but wait. He's an animal control guy. Drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're... They're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. Can we help me? I've away, but there's this fog. And I have no idea where we are. You have been kidnapped by a married couple, is that correct? No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. Help is this me. a case of family disturbance, Mum? What? No! Did you know this married couple prior to the incident? Are you... Oh really? my god! He's Jesus. fucking kidding Did me! Did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Calm down, please. I'm only trying to help How you. How are you trying to I help need me? To Establish some facts first before a police car. I've been kidnapped in, but... by a crazy uh, motherfucking just couple! Check this number and you'll find where I am. You can do that, <laughs> yeah? Yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Please! Of course, Mom. Stay on the line. Oh my. How did you witness cruelty to animals? What? <laughs> You mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to... Oh my god, I've been kidnapped! Would you prefer that, ma'am? What the Are you joking? No, I would not. Okay, please hold the line. What the fuck is wrong with Hello? this? What the fuck is wrong with these people? Uh, are you still there? Yes! Yes, of course, I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged yourself from the hospital. Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health... Oh my fucking god! No, it's not like that. Miss Ashworth, please listen to me very carefully. I can connect you with the on- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, I'm getting so pissed! recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. Oh my god! I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm talking so, over this. I'm sorry. It. You're just not going to help me. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help, ma'am. It's best if you contact your doctors. Would you like me to give you their number in case no, you to call them you to your save me? Oh, don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Oh my fucking god. Holy fucking shit. Those fucking wankers. I am sorry, but I'm fucking very angry right now. Oh, we, we see that you came out of the hospital. That means you must be lying. <laughs> fucking assholes. I gotta save it there. Fucking wank faces. Fuckers. <laughs> so angry. Find your number. Fine. Let's go fucking phone me. I can help myself. Fucking assholes. I'm so upset. So upset. Come 
on Mitzi. Phone, Mitzi. Hello? Mitzi! Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. Quickly! What's happened? Where are you, Ms. Ashworth? I don't know! I've been kidnapped. I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. I can! Listen to me. This guy is a fucking murderer. <laughs> He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. Parasite. The police won't oh, be coming to rescue me. No, they won't. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... but... What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! Okay, fine. I'll tell you. Thank you! It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions. You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. Okay. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? <laughs> right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a gas mask. Got it? Got it! Yeah. Got it! Got it! Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. Be careful, Miss Ashworth. I'll be fine. Call the police, though. Old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. Well, guys, I'm gonna leave that episode there for now. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this because I fucking love this game so much. It made me very angry, that part. And I apologize for talking over the policeman, but I don't give a fuck what he had to say because he's a dickhead and an asshole. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all of that awesome shit, and make sure to not do anything bad while I'm gone.